Think about those people in your life that if they didn't come back tomorrow, things would be instantly better. You may be sitting next to one of them right now. <laughs> if that's the case, don't raise your hand. Okay, this, don't raise your hand. So those people that we drive to work thinking about all the things we'd really like to say to them, and we've rehearsed it and we've practiced it, but we know we're not going to. Does everyone have someone like that? Yeah, if you don't, you just need to get out more. <laughs> yeah, right? You know, and you could just switch companies because that person will be waiting for you in another body. So think about you, why don't you say anything? So those people that are bugging you, why don't you say anything to them? Throw them out. Because you're not stupid either. <laughs> Good work over there. Why else? Why don't we speak to these people? You can't control how they're going to react anyway, and they're, may not, they're not going to change their behavior. They've been doing this forever, so why bother? Why else? That's the only reason? It's an easy group. You want to stay employed, and the repercussions could be bad, and it's just not worth it, right? It's petty. It's not worth it. Why else? You choose your battles, right? How many people don't like conflict? Too much conflict, right? I'm new. I just, ugh, maybe the behavior will change. How many people are waiting for these people to just change? If that person, if they didn't come in tomorrow, if they would just change without us actually having to say something, wouldn't that be great? Is that going to happen? No. The likelihood of that person shifting their behavior without you having to say anything is as likely as your dog walking himself and coming back in a timely way. It is not going to happen. Okay, so we don't want the conflict. It's just too difficult. We're new. We're not stupid. We pick our battles. I think everything you said is true. I think all of that is accurate, and I don't think that has anything to do with why we don't speak up. I think the reason we don't speak up when people frustrate us is because we feel like we can't. We don't have the permission. We haven't said to that person, listen, our working relationship matters to me. I want a good relationship with you. As a result, if I do anything that frustrates you or makes your life hard, I want you to tell me and I promise that I'll say thank you. I don't think we do that. So when something happens, we can't actually say something, we just think it. Or maybe we tell somebody else, but we can't actually tell them what we want, so we just watch and they do what they do, but we can't say anything, so we get frustrated in silence, hoping that they will quit, die, or leave. Can you guys relate to that? Okay, so let's say this. If at the end of this program, which is 45 minutes, you could walk out of here with more power and more control over every relationship in your life, personal and professional, would that be worth the price of admission? Yes. Great, that's my claim. And that's a big claim, right? That's what I want for you. I want you to have more power and more control over every relationship in your life. And I don't care if it's your child's teacher or babysitter or your doctor or your boss or your clients, because these are transferable skills. And your company probably sent you here and you're here to focus on your business and your career, and for me, I hate to say this, but it doesn't matter. Because if you can improve your child's teacher relationship, you can improve the relationship with your boss. The skills are the same, employ them wherever you want. 